What's up everyone, this is Grim Reaper Sage here, so this is my 3 minute video review for Death or Treat. So shout out to Press Engine who kind of gave me a code. This is published by Perp Games and Hawthorne Games and developed by Sayana Studio, sorry if I butchered names. It was released on the UK on the 11th of the 5th 2023 and is £19.99. This is my blog, which has everything on there, which has my fan art and all the pictures that I take and everything. So please, please go check that out. It's on www.garylodgegamesreview.game.blog. So that would be awesome. You can check it out and read it all there. So we'll just put this up. So this is my three minute review. So yeah, we'll get into it. So uh, praise first. Uh, the story was interesting and fun. It had a lot of humor and everything to it. Weapons were really cool, all had their own stats, weight and feel, which was really nice. Characters you meet were really fun, all had own look and personality. Enemies were really varied, all had own look and moves. Like, um, For example, the bats would dive attack you, the spiders had like left and right attacks, and then like four, uh, two different attacks, it's kind of cool. Bosses were really good, I really enjoyed them. They all had their own phases and attacks and looks and were really good. Art style for the game I thought was really good. It's really pretty and detailed. Um, easy controls as they weren't too complex to learn. It had a big old bulletin board at the start that showed you them. It's really easy. Whereas, you know, some games have like tons of combos and everything you need to learn. And yeah, it has a lot of combat for 1999. It has cool story, weapons and enemies. Uh, only two cons for me personally was there was no heal option during the boss fights. Um... Or in general, uh, like you, when you were killing mobs, you would get the occasional health, but there was no like um, potion, estus flask, some sort of like health recovery, which did mean quite often boss fights, it was literally you roll with what you got, which I found quite annoying. Um, it's really grindy, which surprised me quite a lot. Like in order to buy the weapons, you had to grind uh, mobs to get the items and then you could only take so many items when you died and then you needed so many to build weapons fast travels upgrades it can be quite grindy so it was a bit of a annoying um overall though like i said for 1999 there's cool story enemies bosses characters easy to pick up and play and cool weapons however no heal option in boss fights or in general is a bit annoying and can be a bit grindy and everything else so as always, I hope you enjoy this video review. If so, please like, share, subscribe. It helps me out an absolute ton. As in order to get codes for other games, I have to submit my blog to publishers, developers, PR companies, and all the rest. So, as always, any questions, put in the comments. Hope you enjoy the videos, and I'll see you all soon on the next one.